Hey, it's Sharon Hornos from Hair Pajama Grandma, and I have a quick topic for the day, and it is, how the hell am I supposed to feel positive when I feel like I'm dying? I'm stuck in bed, I can't hardly move, I feel like my life is over, I freaking feel like I'm dying, Sharon. What the hell are you talking about? I should be positive and think positive. Well, I guess I've been there, so been there, um, lots of days in my last 37 years dealing with chronic pain, I have been to the point where I couldn't get out of bed and I didn't know what I was going to do. And so I'd be laying there thinking about my pain, thinking about my pain, thinking about, oh my God, I can't even move. I, I need to get up and go to the bathroom, but I can't even get up. And the last thing on my mind was thinking positive. But last spring, I had a really bad flare and I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't get I couldn't get out of bed to make it to the bathroom. And for some reason, the phrase, you got this, popped into my head. And over and over and over again, whenever I needed to try to move or do anything, I would just repeat, you got this, you got this, you got this. And sometimes I'd have to say it out loud to help myself move. And you got this became my positive mantra, my little like personal motivational saying to get me to move, to get me to take that next step, even though I didn't think that I could do it. And so as hard as it seems to think positive or whatever you want to call it, or believing that you can possibly do something at a time when you're really feeling down and you're feeling the mo most intense pain that you thought you could possibly ever experience, that's the time when you need to, to dig down and find within you that positive message, that positive voice, that positive thing that's going to pull you out of the abyss because it feels like you're in an abyss, like you're in a deep, dark, black pits sometimes, but nobody else can pull us out of that. We have to pull ourselves out of that. And so that's where positive thinking comes in. And you know, the how the hell am I supposed to think positive when I feel like I'm dying? I mean, when we have chronic pain, a lot of the time we feel like we're dying. But guess what? All of us are dying all the time. From the moment we're born, everyone on this planet is dying. So we're not alone. It's not just us. And there's one and a half billion of us with chronic pain, so we're not alone in feeling our pain and feeling our intense pain. And as bad as we think our pain is, I guarantee there's somebody out there that's experiencing pain that is to such an extent that it makes yours look like a stubbed toe. And that, that's really hit home to me over the last several years of dealing with people with chronic pain, is I used to believe that I was the only one and that my pain was worse than anybody else's and then I started meeting people whose stories make mine pale so by comparison that I'm almost embarrassed to share my story because I have become so functional. Even though chronic pain is a part of my life, it is not my life. And I want it to not be yours too. So if you're ready to start taking some steps for killing your chronic pain and living the life you deserve, I invite you to join me on, I actually did a 30 day free chronic pain killers challenge that you can join me on or just check us out on chronicpainkillerswithaz.com and see what there is there for you to help you kill your chronic pain, kick it to the curb and live the life that you finally deserve. Have an awesome pain-free day and I will see you soon. Bye.